This is Film Masters. On this episode, we're jumping straight into Adobe's audition and doing Supreme Leader Snoke's voice from Star Wars The Force Awakens. It's going to sound like this. Even you, master of Film Masters, have never faced such a test. Let's get straight in the tutorial. So we're in Adobe Audition now. We're going to go up first of all to Waveform and we're going to call this one Snoke. I'm going to leave the sample rate at 44100 Hz, channel as stereo and bit depth at 32 bit floating, and select OK. So we're going to be replicating Snoke's voice now from Star Wars The Force Awakens. One thing we need to focus on is to get our voice ready for when we're doing the recording. Now one thing that you'll need to focus on is the vibration in the throat, and to do that, try and and make a ah uh, sound and then bring that ah uh, down ah uh, and then you'll hear a vibration in your throat that's what you're focusing on so you're trying to get that vibration in what you're saying even you so you've got to really push the vibration it's going to take a little bit of warming up of your throat um, and getting ready but practice makes perfect so we're going to get straight into this tutorial now so i'm going to do a recording i'm going to come down here and press record and then I'm going to say, even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. So that's what we're going to be saying. So let's do that recording. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. And I'm going to press the space bar, and that's going to stop the recording. So we're going to play that back. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren have never faced such a test. Excellent, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bump up the sound. And I'm gonna make it around about 7.5 and listen to see what that sounds like. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. Okay, so let's go up to effects. We're gonna go to delay and echo and echo. And we're gonna make sure that the presets are set at default. I'm gonna come down and select lock left and lock right. Now what that means is the left and the right channel will be the same. So every time we change these, they're going to be kept at the same levels. So first of all, let's go up to delay time. And we're gonna make that 170. And you'll notice down here, the delay time on the right channel also changes. And that's obviously because we've selected the lock left and right. Next thing we're gonna do is come with the feedback and we're gonna select 80%. And then we're gonna come down to echo level and select 30%. So we've got those in there right now. Now let's uh, make sure that our green toggle is on and you just simply select it until the green comes on. And then we're gonna press play and just listen to see what that sounds like. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. Now one thing you can notice is a lot of echo going on there. So we're going to make some adjustments now over to the successive echo equalization. So we're going to do that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here, we're going to put negative 5.3. And we're going to go all the way across and put 5.3 negative. So make sure you put negative in, 5.3. If you just put 5.3, it's going to bump it up and you'll get a lot of echo in there. It's going to go through and do that now. And then we're going to play it again and just see what it sounds like. And I'm just going to press play now. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. Excellent, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna select apply. Now that's the very first effect we're gonna be applying to this sound. So we're giving it a slight echoey sound, like as if we're in a big chamber, like the hologram in uh, Force Awakens. So we're gonna come up now to effects and we're gonna be looking for modulation and coming over to chorus now and select chorus, making sure default selected because we're gonna come through and make some adjustments. So we're gonna make the delay time, first of all, 20. We're going to make sure that the delay rate and the feedback are all brought down to as far as you can go on the left hand side to zero. 
We're going to change the spread to 50. We're going to leave the modulation depth at zero. And we're going to change modulation rate to 10. I'm going to come over to the output level now. And we're going to change dry to 100 and wet to 25. And once we've done that, we're going to press play and see what that sounds like. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. So I'm happy with that. So let's press apply. And that's our second effect we've put onto our sound sample. Now the next effect we're going to do is going to come up to effects and we're going to look at reverb and we're going to go to convolution reverb and select that making sure the default is selected and we're going to make some adjustments now down here. Now before we do we're going to come up to the impulse I'm going to drop it from the default classroom and we're going to make it so it sounds like it's inside a car and then we're going to change the mix to 80% the room size to 80% the damping is going to change to 40. The damping HF, we're going to be changing to 80. The pre-delay, we're going to leave at zero. The width, we're going to make it 25. And then we're going to make the gain negative 10. And we're going to play that and see what it sounds like. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. And when we're done that, we're going to select apply. Now, one thing you've noticed is all because we've put a negative 10, it's bumped up the sound. So we're going to listen to this and make some fine adjustments to the sound wave. So let's press play. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never face such a test. Excellent. So I'm happy with that. Now the only thing we need to do now to finish off this tutorial is to save it. So we're going to go file save as and I'm going to leave it at Snoke one way file um, location. I've got my own Snoke folder set up. If you want a different location just select browse and find out where on the PC you'd like to save your work. You can change the formats here. Obviously we've gone through this once before in other tutorials. MP3 is another great way of uh, compressing the sound um, and still keeping the clarity of it. I'm going to leave everything else the same, sample rate and so forth. So all I need to do now is just select OK and we're done. So let's now have a listen to the comparison of what we've just recorded and what the actual movie one sounds like. So just remember Andy Serkis is the one that did the original recording from The Force Awakens. He also did Gollum as well as a few other characters in different movies. Um, he's got a unique voice, so it's going to be hard to try and replicate it. So again, one of the things I would suggest is try and get the vibration in your throat and really play on the words a little bit, really drag them out. Another good way is to listen to Snoke a few times in a video clip. There's obviously a few of them on YouTube. Funny enough, I've listened to one for this tutorial and, um, and, and really perfect your sound. And then once you've got that, get into Adobe's audition and do the recording. But let's have a listen now of what our recording sounds like and the movie one sounds like. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. He means nothing to me. Even you, master of the Knights of Ren, have never faced such a test. By the grace of your training, I will not be seduced. And that is how you do Snoke's voice in Adobe's audition. Now, if you want to become a Film Master subby, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. You can like us on Facebook and on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.